Hey guys and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. So Sherlock finally solved his first murder mystery and now he has some free time to go into his mother's grave. So let's go and pay our respects. Okay, so we have to find the cemetery and go to our mother's grave, I think. So we can probably take a taxi. Can we? A free ride for every hotel visitor. We sure Just can. Just tell me where to go. The cemetery. Is everything all right? If you don't feel up to it, I won't tell anyone. It's just a goodbye, John. It won't be difficult. I've already come to terms with my mother's passing. Hmm. So you really don't remember? To what do you refer? The funeral. Sherlock, you were distraught. At first, I thought this visit would dredge up those feelings, but you've been remarkably level. John, I think I was too young to understand. I couldn't fathom why she would leave me. Perhaps that pain is best left forgotten. On the contrary, it's why I'm visiting her grave. To remember her. Okay, so we have to find our mother's grave. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. Concentrate. Okay, instead of just running around the cemetery, let's see if we have something in the book that will help us. Remembering the funeral, so this is it. So we have to pin it and let's see what we can... Oh! Okay, let's concentrate. Mycroft was adamant that we leave for London immediately after the funeral. He never told me why, but I saw how unsettled he was by the long requiem. So we had to leave right after. The service was sparsely attended. Though my parents were buried separately, the pastor said they're united in heaven. I didn't believe him even then. So it's interesting how we can actually remember, remember all these details this way. That's pretty cool. Carrying the casket over here, I think. How did you get here, John? I wanted to see her one last time before the coffin was interred and say how I loved her. The chance never came. I, I feel I rather faint. You're fine, you're fine. It's over now. You remembered everything. It will get easier soon. Okay, so our mother is buried right here. pocket watch it seems familiar John why is it here well, don't walk in the grave but we gotta get to the watch
Rest in peace, Violet Holmes. Goodbye, Mother. This watch was a gift. My mother's initials are engraved on it. The piece is in good condition. It must have been placed here only recently. Okay, so somebody came to visit her. And the candle was lit. A candle in a small puddle of wax. It cannot have been lit for more than half an hour. Is this really how you want to spend this time? This is my mother's pocket watch, John. Who put it here and why? Are you not in the slightest bit interested? I am. I'd like to figure out who. Maybe it was Mycroft. Let's see. We can ask about the mysterious visitor around on the cemetery. I guess footprints we can inspect here as well. A man in fashionable shoes stood near the tomb. The size of the prints suggest he is approximately five and a half feet tall. So a pretty short man. Well dressed. There's flowers as well. See if these guys know something. Oh, there's something else here. It's really difficult to get these uh, things to aim properly sometimes. You were about to tell me the make and model of tire, but let me assure you, I do not care. Hmm. Ah, well, it was going to be very impressive. Come on then, the trail continues ahead. Okay, so I guess we gotta follow the trail. Or not this way, but the other way. Let's see. Yeah, this way. It's one of those bikes with those big tires. Those are really cool. <laughs> I would love to write one of these. He mustn't be far away to leave it unattended. A portable easel was kept there. The hospital are crypts. If memory serves, they're located at the far end of the cemetery around an old tree. Okay, so we have to go to the crypts. The hospital are crypts. If memory serves, Okay, so we'll go check out the crypts. The hospital are crypts. If me I hope that inspiration strikes upon visiting these beautiful vaults. At the very least, you'll enjoy the view. Yours, Mercurio. Mercurio, okay. So we have a name. And we have one more clue to find. Pedals, maybe no. Where could it be? Let's look up 
here. Can't move anywhere else, so... There's gotta be something on the bike, or around the bike. Oh, there we go. It's stained with oil paint. An artist working in a cemetery. Do you think he'd paint my portrait? So let's go to the crypt. Around the big tree. So these are the crypts. So there's a big tree. We can ask this person something, can't we? Yes, we can. May I ask you something? Don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. Okay, so he hasn't seen anything. Maybe something about the crypts. May I ask for your assistance? Don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Missing something? I thought I gathered all the evidence. Oh, it's that ridiculous artist from the hotel. Okay, there's the artist. Be nice, Sherry. Make friends. Yeah, let's ask him about the crypts. Mr. Holmes, did you come for another portrait? <laughs> no, no, I jest. You gave quite the performance last night. The hotel was abuzz with your name. I must say I was rather absorbed in it all. The fallibility of men. Such scandal. It was a welcome distraction. Oh, my manners. I am Werner Vogel, art enthusiast and gallery proprietor. Mr. Vogel, I was perhaps too curt when last we spoke. Speak no more of it. Travel takes it out of any man, never mind when this is your destination. Once I learned who you were, the pieces fell into place. Your mother was well liked on Cadona in her time here. I was sorry to hear of her passing. How did you come to possess my mother's pocket watch? Oh my! It is quite something to witness those powers of deduction firsthand. Yes, I... I left you her timepiece. After her death, there was an estate sale. All of Cordona's elite picking of her remains. I couldn't let such a lovely thing go to those vultures. When I learned your name, I could no longer keep the watch in good conscience. It is yours by right, and I knew you'd find it here. Thank you. I've forgotten all about it, but the moment I saw it, I knew it was hers. Amazing what the young mind forgets and the older can recall. Rather odd, loitering in a cemetery. I suspect you'll win, but I'm here for my art. There's beauty everywhere if you look, even in decay. A little darkness brings out the light. Now, a diligent observer might note that you too are loitering in a cemetery. What brings you here? Closure answers penance? Closure, I suppose. And what is closure? Mere proximity? Understanding. Acceptance. You didn't understand from afar. You had to come here to accept the truth of her death? Of course I understand. She died of consumption, drowning in her own blood. Your mother? Yes, my mother. Hmm. I must have been misinformed. I'd heard otherwise. Otherwise than consumption? No, no. You'd know better than I. I'd heard talk of a police investigation, but Cordona is a notorious gossip. And what does it matter? She's passed on either way. She has. Well, I shall intrude no longer. I'll leave you to your closure. Do stop by the gallery if your travels permit. Farewell. Are you all right, Sherry? Take as long as you need. Hmm. Whatever I need, it isn't here. We should explore Cordona. Perhaps there are archives that may shed further light. So it sounds like his mother may have been killed. And I think Sherlock's going to want to know a little bit more about that. So let's go to the police station and see what we can find out.
police station, the bridge, Caesar's Bridge. There's two places in the cemetery. There's a market. I don't think we need to go to these places. So it looks like we're going to be visiting a lot of different scenes, a lot of different places. So this will be fun. Okay, but where is the police station or the city hall? Are they on this map even? There's the police station. Il Palazzo del Luso. No, that sounds like a palace. And there's a bridge. I'm right here at the cemetery. There's another bridge. There's lots of bridges. Old City Bridge, Old City Market, maybe I can ask him about it. So the little kid is a genius. I wonder if he knows anything. May I ask you something? Don't think I can trust you. Are you able to help me? I'd rather bite a sneaker than talk to you. Okay. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? I'd like to go to the police station. Let's see what else is here. Excuse me, just one question. No, sir. I won't talk to you. I ask you something? Uh, don't take it personally, sir. Uh, but I know nothing about this. Hello. Where is the police station? The gate was open, so I just let myself in. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. There's a church of Saint Nicholas. I'm fine. Okay, which way to the police station? That's 
take a look at the map. There we go. Where am I? I'm right here. So I'm going the right way. See if I can take a carriage. Extra, extra! Look at what you've done! Alright, so just keep going straight. And we'll get there. Which way? Either way. I think this is it. It's a good swimmer. That's good for me to know. May I ask you something? Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. I'll ask around. Okay, so now we can fast travel to the police station. Stark do this, Stark do that. I'm not a clerk, damn it. How am I supposed to get those records now? Yes? What is it? Would you like to report a crime? No, I wouldn't. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I want to use the police archives. Wouldn't we all? I'm serious. So am I. Officer Logan locked himself inside and he's not letting anyone in. What happened exactly? A tailoress from Scaladio has been robbed. Logan spent two whole days at the shop sketching the thief and she still insists that it's all wrong. That shrew drove him up the wall, she did. Would you mind if I talk to this tailoress? I could get you the sketch in no time. Get off your high horse, mister. You think you're better than our sketch artist? Actually, I'm quite certain I am. Let me prove it. Well, I see no harm in it, as long as it gets Logan out of there. In fact, I need to look up some records too. Here's the address. Good luck. Okay, so we need to help the police sketch artist. Where do we go? Address, but shouldn't it be here somewhere? Excuse me, just one question. Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. Okay, I'll ask, I'll ask everybody. Help me, please. Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. Time to check your who, what, and what, Cherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Funny how I can just walk in here. So I can just walk in here, walk into the cells. Nobody cares. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. Man, these cells are all bloody. The prison's now closed. <laughs> so it's it's open sometimes. That's that's great. 
I'm working. She wants a proper sketch. I'll make her a proper bloody sketch. Go away. But I can help you. It's no use. You won't let me in. It's no use. You won't let me in. Okay, so I need to get in there somehow. Are you able to help me? Don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. May I ask for your assistance? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. Yeah, I know. Okay, I need to stop asking these people everything, and I need to get into that room. Because I think that's my only solution. Let me in. Let's try going through a window. Let's look to see if there is a window. Oh. Ah, excuse me. I'm pleased to meet you, ma'am. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm here to sketch the thief for the police investigation. Oh, what another one. I hope you'll be more patient than the previous sketches, signore. Can you describe the thief for me? He was all ugly and beat up looking. An utter rascal, if ever I'd seen one. He gave me a nasty look from behind his glasses and then made himself scarce. And... That's it? Could you be more specific? He was a total villain, I told you. How much more specific do you want me to be? All right, never mind. I suggest we do it differently. You have a great many clothes here, haven't you? Why, of course, but they're not for sale. I only do tailoring and mending. No matter. I'll attempt to disguise myself as the thief, and you'll tell me if I get it right. As you wish, Signor Holmes. Where can I find the clothes? They're in my workshop at the back. Uh, be careful, won't you? Okay, so this sounds like fun. How do we know where to, how do we know where we start? What can I do for you, Sherlock? Oh, that's John. All right, and again, he came here just before I even did. Oh, look at this old chap putting on airs like some Italian doge. Why don't you disguise yourself as him instead? We have a job to do, John. Oh, come on, at least do him first. All right, let's find a hat.
So I guess we'll have to change our clothes off then. I think this might be a little bit difficult because I have no idea where to even start with the look of the thief. Did I get everything I need? Uh, it looks like maybe I can open these. No, I can't. Okay, let's change the wardrobe. Glasses, is there a mustache? No mustache. Okay, only one suit. Sherlock's or John's suit. Okay, let's try the top half. Okay, so on the right side, I think we have different things we can try. So let's try this one. And the mustache. Which mustache? Let's see. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. He did wear glasses, but not like those. His were angular and evil looking. All right, I'll try another pair. So, these glasses. We do... Oh, we can't change here. We do have glasses like that, though. innocent now what do you mean too innocent there was something evil about his face like a mustache yes the kind that all villains twirl as they plot their evil plans I'd say that not all villains wear mustaches but I get your point mom okay so we need a mustache That's not a twirly mustache. I think I need to find another box with mustaches. Because it does not look like this one. We can't twirl this one. Okay, maybe there isn't one up here. Let's. Let's see what she says about this one. No, those clothes are wrong. He was dressed in a very fancy beige suit. Must have stolen it from someone. No doubt about it. All right, I've got it. Okay, so we gotta change suits. Yep, that looks like a good suit.
Did I change suits? Something isn't right. What's not right? Something isn't right. Okay, so we changed. Oh, John, how do you go from one place to the other like that? Something is weird. Okay, something isn't right. What's not right? The hat? Try the hat. Actually, I think maybe. Let's try the top hat first. No, Signore. That hat is wrong. I told you it was a regular bowler. You didn't tell me it was a bowler. But I did. You ought to pay more attention, Signore. Okay, so now we know it was a bowler. And... So the hat's correct. Maybe the skin. Let's try this. Something isn't right. It's weird that John just goes from place to place like that. Something isn't right, but she's not telling me what. Yeah, and he's here. Yeah, something is off. He's either a ghost or he's not real. I don't know. Let's try the old man look. Something isn't right. If something isn't right, what else can we change? <sighs> so we got the suit. Maybe just normal, normal face. Something isn't right. Okay, what's not right? What could not be right? What else can I do? What can I do for you, Sherlock? Okay, let's... what else can we change? Glasses are right. Mustache is right. Now this is a pencil mustache. So that's not the right mustache. I'm missing a mustache. Where is it? So maybe the suit's not not right. Anything else that I could get? Let's let's change. Let's see. So the suit was off, I think. I need the base suit. One of these. And this one. Let's try this out. Hmm, I think your face could use a beating, Signore. I beg your pardon? The thief's face was all battered like he'd been given a good thrashing. He would have served him right, the stinker. I could do without a thrashing, thank you. Some makeup would do the trick. Okay, so I think we're almost there. And I believe it's gonna be this one. Mm. 
That looks right. Ah, it's you. I mean, it's him. It's him. Excellent. Now I can make a sketch and take it to the police. Yes, please do. That rascal is still on the loose. I hope they are better at catching than sketching. Before I go, Mom, are you quite certain that you don't have any clothes to sell? Well, I suppose you can take the police uniform. An officer forgot it here years ago, and I don't have any use for it. If you want to buy clothes, visit the Outfitters. You can find them all over Codorna. I hear they even do free rentals now. Let me show you where the nearest one is. Thank you very much. So I think we're going to have one on the map. All right, guys, let me know what you thought of that puzzle in the comment section. I thought it was a little bit silly trying to change to look exactly like the perp, but we managed to do it and we got the sketch. We'll visit the archives in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.